Don't use Chrome. Make your own browser with 30 simple lines of code. Super simple, right? Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be teaching you how, guys how to make your very own browser with a few simple lines of code in Python. So let's get started. To create this, you will need this editor called PyCharm. Firstly, what you want to do is open up terminal and install pip. So this is, um, we're installing a package for, so this is going to install a PIP package, which is basically for a web engine. So um, it is called PIP install QPYQT web engine and press enter and wait for this to install. Once this is ready, then you would want to import this. So what you would do is go import and then and then class main window window oh then go class main window and q q main window and space enter now you define this define underscore underscore init and self comma asterisk a r g f and k w a r g s right and then this is not required and then press enter now you would create super and main window comma self dot in it sorry underscore underscore dot in it underscore asterisk a r g s comma asterisk asterisk quar g s so by doing this we're taking the very first steps towards making a ver a browser so um after we've done this oh sorry you would also have to add g here quarks so it's the same thing and then you go enter and right there self dot browser equals to q web engine view here um sorry something from the start you also need to import a few other things so you would go import um here import pyqt5 dot qt core so it can be used core core and import not that just here from from import and then from pyqt5 uh, dot qt widgets you would want to import and then from from pyqt5 dot qt widgets widgets and sorry not qt widgets it's qt web engine widgets and then import that as well and you would want to import sys right now getting back to here so you, what is okay 
So self engine view here we would want to go engine view brackets and enter self dot set URL get Q URL google.com and then we would go self dot dot connect self dot update underscore url bar self dot browser browser dot load finished dot finish dot connect dot connect bracket self dot up date underscore title after this it should go uh, so this is gonna import the titles and then we wanna self the central widget so it will go self dot self dot browser dot central sorry Central set central widget and bracket self dot browser then self dot dot status status self dot status and then self dot status is equal to q status bar and bracket closed here and then self dot set status bar bracket self dot Status. After that, you would want to create a nav tool, a navigation tool. It will be nav tab is equal to Q tool toolbar toolbar. And I'm going to call it navigation. After doing this, we want to add self add it. So it should be self dot add toolbar and nav tab and just press enter from there back underscore btn is equal to q action q action uh, so now it will be back and self back underscore button dot set set status tip bracket back to previous page so this is gonna this is just like a back button to go through the pages and you have previously visited after this it should go we're gonna create a nav so we're going to create a command which tells the program when this button is triggered what to do. So btn triggered dot connect dot connect bracket self underscore browser dot back. 
on there it should it will go nav tv dot add action add action bracket forward forward comma self enter after we're gonna declare this button as next underscore btn next underscore btn dot set status tip forward to next page from here i'm gonna type in next underscore btn dot triggered dot connect connect self dot browse dot forward and then nav tb dot add action bracket next underscore btn and then reload button after that which will be fairly useful in a browser so now q action i uh, call this button reload reload comma self and then we're gonna do reload underscore button dot set status status tip status tip reload page so what so far what we have made a, a is few functions that are there in the browser now after doing that we're gonna do a command like we've done for all other buttons when triggered Trigger dot, dot connect self dot browser dot reload nav tv dot add action bracket reload underscore btn then we're gonna make a home button underscore button Action. Um, home button is equal to sorry home button dot set status set status tip back go home and then home underscore btn triggered triggered dot connect bracket self dot navigate navigate underscore home and enter nav tv dot add action and home underscore button now you it's just gonna add it now we're just gonna add a separator so it will be simply nav tv dot add separator and brackets enter self dot url bar is equal to q line line edit brackets enter self dot url bar dot return return pressed dot connect bracket self dot navigate underscore two underscore url nav tv dot add widget add widget and self 
URL bar and then you'd go stop button underscore btn is equal to q action q action bracket oh sorry bracket uh, bracket stop comma self and enter so stop underscore button dot set status set status tip bracket stop loading current page once that's done we want to add a stop button trigger command so that would be simply stop underscore btn dot triggered dot content bracket self dot browser dot stop and from there nav tb dot add action add action and stop underscore btn and self self dot show brackets after that we're gonna define diff diff up update underscore title bracket self and title is equal to self dot browser self dot browser dot page brackets dot sorry dot title brackets self dot set window dot title title bracket so we're gonna use it and percentage s dash and g and gonna go out here percentage uh, space title from here we're gonna define the navigate home actions so define navigate underscore home bracket self and then self dot browser dot set url bracket q u r l q u r l to bracket http slash slash www dot google dot com so what's what this is gonna really do is just gonna redirect you to google and then define navigate underscore to url bracket self and enter so that will be q is equal to url u capital ur url bracket self dot url bar dot text and brackets and then now we're gonna add an if dot q scheme bracket equal equal to nothing and then simply here enter so we're gonna set the scheme so we're gonna set the q dot scheme um to bracket http and enter from here we're gonna self the browser dot set url and q again we're gonna define something so it will be diff update underscore url bar which will be self comma q will then get us self dot self dot url bar dot set text sorry set text um to q 
dot to string and then brackets again enter and self dot url bar dot set cursor position position to zero and after that to so you're gonna go app is equal to q application q application says sys dot a r g v have I spelled application wrong unresolved q application yes and then go here app is equal to dot set sorry is equal to app dot set. to set application name to oh, I'm gonna give it a simple name Arna's Arna's browser <clears throat> and then after that we're just gonna go window is equal to main window at brackets and then app dot execute so here you've got your very own chrome like looking browser so now what you're going to do is just run it and you have your very own browser if you are having any troubles making this comment down below and i'll try my best to get back to you let's run it and test it out this this is what you've just built you can search it up so you can go to YouTube there it works very nicely yeah and then now you can always look to search on channels let's say since you guys are watching samurai shooters so let's search up search that up and let's look to subscribe okay, thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like share and hit that subscribe button thank you